Hello, welcome to this Computer Weekly video. I'm Brian Glick, I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Computer Weekly. And in this video, we're talking about business intelligence and data analytics. Now, they're probably terms that a lot of you are familiar with and plenty of organisations have, have, have implemented uh, business intelligence, or BI, as you'll hear us call it, uh, and analytics. But what we're looking at is, you know, how do you uh, take that investment forward? What sort of things are organisations doing now to really uh, use that data and the analysis of, of the data that they have to really drive their business forward? Now, to help me do this, I'm joined by uh, Martin Horton. Uh, Martin is the go-to-market director for HP's analytics uh, organisation. Martin, thanks very much for coming along to, to join us. Pleasure. Um, now, as, as I mentioned just then, BI and analytics are things that lots of, organi lots of organisations use. But what, what's coming through uh, business that's driving a greater focus on these areas now? So I think probably for the last uh, probably 15, 20 years or so, most companies have spent their time really analysing the, I call them the exhaust gases of their operational systems. So, you know, spent a lot of time analysing data that they've got in their ERP systems, in the systems really that they transact in. And the big change we're seeing now is that many organisations are realising that to get deeper insights into not just what happened, but why things happened and what might happen, they're realising they need to dip into a, a much richer source of, uh, of data. And that data spans an increasing uh, number of different types of data as well. So it could be video, it could be voice, uh, unstructured data, documents. So there's a vast array of kind of digital content out there. Probably the lion's share of what companies store, along with the things outside their own organisations, that they're now realising they need to access, analyse, to start to find out new things. So that's really what's at the heart of what people call big data and the analytics that's coming off the back of that. Now you've outlined a, a lot of different business and technology challenges there and you know, clearly you work with a lot of different customers who are, who are facing those challenges. How are you seeing those customers go about tackling those challenges? What are they actually doing in practice? So there's two, I'd say, diametrically opposed approaches going on at the moment. One is some organisations are saying, we get, we get it, we get the problem, we understand what the potential value is, let's go and buy some stuff. Um, and they're starting to buy tools, they're starting to buy uh, and integrate things like Hadoop and put data in it. That's a, that's a, a technological kind of approach to the, to, the, uh, to the opportunity really. And there's other companies that are approaching it very differently and saying, before we buy any technology, let's think about what it is we don't know that we ought to know. What are the questions we have? How can we um, enhance our products? How can we understand our customers better? And they're then starting to approach it from a much more business oriented uh, way and then think about the kind of tools they may need to answer those particular questions. So there's two kind of things going on right now. I don't think any one of them is particularly uh, the wrong approach. I think they, they, they both work in the right context. Um, but for, again, from a technological point of view, whichever end you start from, we, we, you know, we can help um, solution that. Um, you know, some companies are saying, well, if we put it all in a big bucket, we'll be able to then perhaps find things without having to ask the questions beforehand. And other companies are saying, well, we're not willing to invest in the technology till we know what the business outcome is going to be. So we're seeing a quite a variety there. And I guess it's, it's very related, really, to the risk profile of the business. How, um, you know, how willing are they to just have a go and see what happens? So how entrepreneurial they are is quite often a driver of which uh, approach they take. So, you know, for those organisations, regardless of whichever one of those routes they're taking, for the organisations that are successful with that, what sort of benefits are you seeing them actually achieving? So we're seeing this in everyday life and, you know, things that we do in our normal, uh, going about our normal business, buying an airline ticket, going to a football match. These, this whole big data thing and the way that companies are using analytics, particularly in the consumer space, is having a huge impact not just on their bottom line and their top line, but also in the way that we interact with those organisations too. So you may buy, buy an airline ticket. There might be some price variety based upon some of the details that they have about you, uh, perhaps through some kind of uh, club card. Um, and But also in the engineering side as well, we're also seeing uh, at a more industrial level, we're seeing car manufacturers start to embed more sensors into their vehicles. Those sensors tell the car manufacturer how you drive what the uh, propensity is for your engine to fail at a certain point and how to maintain it better. So we're actually feeling it as consumers. I think for those of us who spend our time in the industry, we, you know, it's very apparent to us what's going on there, but it's really benefit, it's benefiting a lot of people in terms of how they uh, consume these services. And uh, you know, shopping online is a great example. Next best offer, that's an analytic capability. 
that has a, an understanding of what you bought before, what your propensity to certain products is. So it's, it's adding value both for the enterprise in terms of how it engages its consumers, how it configures its, its products, um, how it engineers things, but also it's also helping our lives as well in terms of our ability to uh, get more intimacy with the things that we have around us. Um, so the, the sensor revolution, the machine-to-machine -machine piece of the analytics story, um, is finding itself uh, in all walks of life now. So we're seeing, we're seeing uh, everyday products start to become sensorized. And the data, of course, that's available from those sensors can be used to enrich the organization's perspective about how you use them. But simultaneously, uh, can enrich your life in terms of giving you data that tells you how you go about your business and how you can improve things yourself as well. To, to help illustrate some of this, can you give us perhaps an example of, of, of a customer that you work with who, who's been through this process and, mm -hmm. and what they've achieved as a result? Yeah, yeah. so uh, a particular car manufacturer, a European car manufacturer, wants to improve uh, how they engineer their cars. Uh, they want to improve the experience of the driver. They also want to reduce the amount of uh, recalls they get. Um, and part of that is actually you know, bringing sensors onto the vehicle, um, collecting data about the vehicle in situ, and then feeding that back into a kind of control centre where they can analyse those, those data uh, and work out how they can improve things. So that's a, di a direct link there between um, you know, big data and the sensor world and the uh, ability to improve your product in the market. Another example that's slightly more on the social side, um, we're seeing uh, clients in the, uh, in the sporting area want to engage their fans better. So we're building fan and media engagement centers so we can actually look at the social world, look at the Twitter feeds, look at all of the, uh, the noise that's out in the system and help people who are running big sporting events to really understand how they can attract more people to those events, how they can work with partners to help uh, promote those events better as well. So we're seeing it both at the machine level, the very high kind of industrialized space, but also in the softer kind of commercial um, uh, area where we're talking about the consumer itself and the whole Twitter thing. Now you've, you've cited some examples there of what are obviously quite mature uses of, of, of big data and analytics and I'm sure a lot of the organisations you talk to are, are, are very much in the early days of uh, thinking about how they can take advantage of some of these technologies. Now if you could give one piece of advice to an organisation that's, that's at that early stage mm -hmm. um, to, to be in their minds as they're, as they're embarking on that, uh, that project, what might that one piece of advice be? Um, I think my, my advice, and this is <clears throat> based on how I've seen it work very well, would be think about what the value is you're trying to create. So you know, don't just go uh, storming into this whole big data analytics thing. Think about what you do today, think about the assets that you already have, think about the investments you've already made in technology and people and processes. Um, and then build a story that says, you know, if we, if we move into this space, if we integrate more data, if we think about how we can access these new forms of data, um, what insights do we really want to enjoy that we don't currently enjoy? And start the process from that end of things. And I think if you do that, you're actually baking uh, a business case into everything you do going forward. And I think that's really valuable because it takes the business and IT on a journey together rather than trying to do separate things. Okay. Martin Horton from HP, thank you for coming along and sharing your experience of working with customers on helping them to make the most of their business intelligence and, and data analytics. Uh, that's all we've got time for on this particular video. Uh, I hope that some of the, uh, uh, the advice and experience that we've shared on here will help you to develop your use of, uh, of analytics and BI and make the most of the business opportunities that big data presents. Thanks for watching.